out. I wanted to do a 1 through 12, with 12 being the remastered version. And I think that's it for my days. Like Wednesday and Sunday, I try to take off and rest, but I do bonus streams too. Man, I ate the Roomba again. for him. I don't I don't like trying to jump when he's in the foreground. I really don't like to because I can't tell like how far over he's gotta be. Anyway, I could have got a one up, but whatever. Okay. And then some of it's gonna get kinda moved around after the fourth of April because Persona five comes out and I'm getting Persona five. So what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and moving Final Fantasy to Thursdays, playing Persona when it comes out on the Tuesday. Sorry, hold on, I gotta make sure I don't die here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, oh well, my controller disconnected anyway. So I'll be moving Persona to Tuesdays when that launches on the 4th, and then Thursday will be Final Fantasy, and I'm thinking of moving Crash to Mondays. At least until I finish the series, because it shouldn't be that hard to get 100% on all Crash games. It shouldn't take me that long, I wouldn't think. Because, like I said, my 2 and... Fucking Roomba! My 2 and 3 are a lot better than my 1. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm just terrible at Crash 1. And then that thing you was lagging, too. Oh, controls. And then next weekend... Yeah, next weekend, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all these... I'm just dead. Okay. No need to continue. I just wanted to get the timing down on that jump. But next weekend, I'll have Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 remastered, so I'll be doing some type of run for that game. So, I mean, there's a lot of new content coming to the channel here soon. I'm also planning to upload to YouTube. So I've been uploading this whenever I'm done streaming because it's going to be the stream copy because right now I don't have a computer that can record while I'm playing <laughs> like I said oh my goodness what the heck I didn't realize that I had, was on it that long I thought I just got on top of it and it just dropped on me Hopefully they fix the. Hopefully they like give analog support, like really good analog support for this game, because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to play Crash One. I feel like two is more forgiving than any of them. Three can be difficult at times. But yeah, if you're interested in the, the Final Fantasy stuff, that will be next Tuesday for sure. And then, the, like I said, the following Tuesday will be the fourth, and that'll get then Final Fantasy will get moved to Thursdays, and I'll be playing Persona. But I just started that up too last Tuesday, so I'm still trying to finish up one. I'm about halfway through, I think, for one. Uh, no, I'm a console player. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have a computer that can run PC games all that well. What have I got? So I just prefer to play on what I can. And since PCs are, tend to be expensive, I figure console's probably just easier all around. But I still have fun with it, and that's really all that matters. That's what I think, because... Same thing for this, like if you're entertained, then it's all that really matters. <laughs> oh, I hate that in the face. Ouch. Please, video game. I thought I overjumped the platform and was about to die. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to, s like, for what I'm doing now, like, I'm. 
looking for, like, when I jump, I'm looking for Crash's shadow on the ground instead of trying to actually, like, depth perception figure out where I'm at. <laughs> Okay, that should be those two. I don't think there was anything up. Okay, please be where you are. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh, I about missed that platform altogether. Okay, we're at the end. We're at the end here. Like, these ones, I can let it kind of, like, brush up against me so I can tell. Okay, last thing I need is to have one of my spin dashes take me forward. Yeah, I grew up with that. I grew up with Crash 2 and Crash 3. I wasn't a, either I, I was I was around when it was, when Crash World, or, bleh, sorry, my words are all jumbled up there. I, I was around when Crash 1 came out. I just never got it as a kid. Crash 2 was the first one that was bought for me. Sorry about that. Like, <laughs> I was pretty nervous there at the end with jumping platforms, so everything kind of all came out jumbled. But yeah, Crash 2 is what I grew up with. That and Tekken 2 and Final Fantasy 7. Okay, we're gonna go back to upstream. I'm kind of using a guide for Crash 1 just because it's like there's no definitive like path to take. It doesn't really help you along like what Crash 2 did in Crash 3 where you could tell like how to, what you needed to get the the gems and all that. See, I have mixed feelings about the 7 remake because it's gonna it's not gonna be the same game it's not even gonna be supposedly close to the same game it's gonna be kind of like looks more like Metal Gear to me for a lack of a better game from what I've heard like you can stealth around and stuff you don't have to take encounters if you don't want to Oh, fish. <laughs> Please don't take me to the water. Okay, we're good. What if I can get that fish right? Hey, I can. Okay. I'm going to die. Nope, we're good. I honestly didn't think I was making that jump. <laughs> Like, I, I kind of wasn't paying attention to how far out the leaf was, and I thought it was still... Oh god, I'm gonna get eaten. Nope, we're good. Uh, yes. This looks like fun. And we didn't drop. Um... I'm not... I'm not fully sure yet what it's gonna be like. I still haven't had a chance to play 50... Please tell me I can... Is there something there? Okay, there is. Sorry, I, I am going to need like a second here to focus getting back across these gems. Never mind, I'm going to drown. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, that's going to suck. I hate trying to get across there already because that moss tree that I'm on, it like pushes me down. So it makes it so I have to jump and then angle where I'm going to go after I jump. There was a Aku mask. But no, I haven't played 15 yet. I probably will do that after I do the whole 1 through 12 thing. I'll just skip 13 because I just, I never really cared for 13. I didn't like how some attacks would like insta-kill you and then other times they wouldn't for just no reason. There was no rhyme or reason to the damage calculation. I'd say the Ultima spell was probably a big uh, offender on that list. You'd have like a full team of sentinels up and then all of a sudden Ultima would hit you for like max damage. 
I didn't even see the fish. <laughs> I'll also have to uh, see when. Oops, sorry, hold on. I gotta... Here, I'll finish that thought. It's never mind, I'm dead. I'll finish it now. Yeah, I've heard mixed things. I've heard people say that they like the beginning and then kind of the towards the end they just kind of lost interest in it. I am bad at this game. <laughs> Thought I was holding down, but I must have accidentally nudged a left. Or close enough to diagonal to where it gave me a left turn. Uh, oh yeah. We'll have to, I'll have to see like how close I am to 12 coming out. If I'm close to 12 coming out before I get to like 7 and stuff, I'll probably just end up doing those games in one night. I'll just do 7 in one night, and then the following week I'll do 8 in one night, and then so on. The only one I don't know if I can do. The only one I don't know if I can do is ten. <laughs> Cause ten kinda takes a while. I didn't realize how long it was until I actually played it again the last time. Especially if I'm Whoa. Oh, phone charger. Especially if I'm doing a hundred percent. I mean let's see, my seven I can do in 13 and a half hours, and that's with, like, terrible fights on Demon's Gate and Carry Armor. I don't know why I'm not getting a jump there, but... Like, I'm trying to jump spin, and I'm hitting X and then square, and then for some reason it's just not giving me the X input, and it's just making me spin off into the water. And I kind of want to speed, like, I've kind of gotten into speedrunning, because I've watched a couple streams that do it. If you're looking for a good speedrun stream, check out Spike Vegeta. He's a pretty funny guy. He's pretty cool. He runs uh, Chrono Cross. He runs Final Fantasy IX. He's planning, I guess, on running some other stuff here after this month. Right now, he's doing an event with a friend. But pretty cool. Pretty funny guy. but he made me kind of want to get into speedrunning. I think 7 is the only game I can do, like... I almost... Uh, I felt... It. Yeah... Sometimes. <laughs> I try to entertain as much as I can when I'm on stream. Like, it's kind of hard to do it, like, alone. When I do Overwatch, I have other people I can bounce from. Some of the stuff that we talk about is kind of funny. It's just kind of hard not to ramble when I'm talking like for games like this sometimes. I missed the jump. I didn't even. Ha I had zero forward momentum. <laughs> Absolutely no. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why, it just didn't give me any forward momentum on that jump. And I just need to not do that, because that's a death. Um, normally I place diamond, but I don't... Yeah, I'm trying to think how to describe it. I kind of lost interest in it. And I was curious about something along the way too, so I kind of decided to just lose my placement matches just to see like where it would place me out of curiosity, because I know the last time they said placements didn't matter, which is probably true because I lost like, I think how many did I lose? I lost like three or four, and it still put me in diamond, but right now I'm in gold. I'm doing a series called Getting Out of Gold. <laughs> I'm okay at Overwatch, like, my gameplay is really bipolar. I think for... I'm dead. I jumped right into his mouth. What, what am I doing? Feeding the plants. 